100 episodes, and it's still going strong. The number one comedy on all of broadcast television for the past two years. The only comedy in the last five years to reach this coveted milestone. And of course, 23 Emmy nominations over the last couple of years, including seven this year. Men, 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 manly men, 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 manly men, 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 manly men. The majority of our comedy comes from the characters, as opposed to other shows that put the characters in situations and insist that you laugh at the situation. We are blessed with a, with a, with a writing staff that is, uh, is second to none. A hundred episodes should be written by a hundred people, but it's written by seven. We are so tired. <laughs> I think the greatest thing is that it's a hundred episodes that I'm proud of, you know? It's going to start running every day uh, all over the country, and I don't care what day you tune in, you're going to see a good show. Hot Girl at 12 o'clock. Where? Over there. That would be 9 o'clock. No, it's 12. Actually, 12.05. 12-ish. You got the right cast and the right network and the right time slot and the right year with the right writers and the right crew, and it all comes together. You know, that's something that doesn't happen very often. You do have to wonder, if we got to 100, then something is going pretty well. It seems to be working. And if, I, if you get the right kind of energy of cast with the great writing and this amazing crew, then I think we can do another 100. Our bottom line is that we're funny. We're just funny. Charlie's performance is filled with subtleties and all kinds of, he's not just one color. And so too with Evelyn, the mother, and, and, and with, uh, with Alan, the brother, and, the, and certainly the son. And the boy is becoming a young man. Jake's probably the only one that's really grown up. Hey, Dad, girls volleyball, a lot of bouncing boobs. Not now, Jake. You told me to tell you when they started. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Shut up. Hunter, it doesn't seem like it's even, like the five years just went so quick for me. I don't. It seems like 100 episodes went fast. I mean, he was a little shrimp. He was a little worm. He was a little, he was a little mushroom just a few years ago. And now he's this big guy. I even look back at the first episode and go, who's that? <laughs> Angus has grown up, so the character of Jake has grown up, and that's changed a lot of things. Uh, it's given us more story areas. It's allowed us to... Uh, be a little less careful about the language, the, the the ideas that get brought up around him. Why is he dating a judge? Is he trying to get out of something? No, more like he's trying to get into something. <laughs> good one. You understood that? Not really. That's how I knew it was good. I feel so good about the show, and and it's such a great experience to come every week and do this show that uh, that uh, I just want to keep going on, you know. And and I feel like we've got a lot a lot more great stuff in us. I finally got to step up to the plate, and I was swinging a garden hose. <laughs> you happy? Well, I'm not sad. I'm excited to be back. It's nice to be back for the 100th episode. And I love, I love almost any episode that Melanie is in. I love the character. I love, I love the stalker. I just I love that. Charlie. Of all the broads who staggered bare-ass through these hallowed halls, <laughs> she's the one who really got to you. Yeah, she got to me. I think that would be a fun way to end it with Rose and Charlie getting together. But I like that she just keeps trying, no matter what. She never gives up. She's back again. I like that. Awesome. I was hoping I could date Charlie. You think that could oh, work? I think yeah. you should. I think, I think that he's would be done, great. He's done everyone. Why not and his yeah. brother's ex? I think that's great, and then I'll stalk you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, and then we could have a little thing, and that makes him yeah. jealous. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, no, it's to, to, to bring Rose back in, in, in the way we have is, is, is pretty special. So I'm not screwing up any plans of yours? Oh, no. This fits perfectly into my plan. <laughs> but we're all very comfortable. And so who knows where it's going to go from here uh, in the future um, with these characters and this setup and anything else you know I think we uh, I think there's a lot of opportunity for it to keep going and, and and not get stuck in itself 
and I think that's why the show succeeds. Everybody cares deeply about the quality of the show, and, and just, I'm so proud to be part of it. Man.